Why does anything exist? Why is there something rather than nothing? Wouldn't nothing have been so much easier? This question has awed and mystified people throughout time. Quote. The first question which we have a right to ask will be, why is there something rather than nothing? Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in The Principles of Nature and Grace, Based on Reason, 1714. Quote. Not how the world is, is the mystical, but that it is. Ludwig Wittgenstein in Treatise on Logic and Philosophy, 1921. Quote. No question is more sublime than why there is a universe, why there is something rather than nothing. Derek Parfit in Why Anything. Why This? 2008. Martin Heidegger called this question the fundamental question of metaphysics. But it might as well be the fundamental question for any being, our existence poses a mystery that demands an answer. Where does it all come from? Why is there anything at all? Every society in every time has wrestled with this dilemma. It's our most enduring question. For we all seek to know, why we are here. Lacking an answer, we are like a ship adrift. Our ignorance on this question makes us like an amnesiac who awakens in a dark and strange place, knowing neither where we are, nor how we got here. Some say without an answer to this question, we can't know anything. Quote. It is possible to think that one cannot answer any question if one cannot answer the question of why there is something rather than nothing. How can we know why something is or should be, a certain way if we don't know why there is anything at all? Surely this is the first philosophical question that has to be answered. End quote. Robert Nozick in Philosophical Explanations, 1981 With an answer to this question we could orientate ourselves. We would know our place in reality, and understand the reason behind it all. An answer to this question would tell us not only why we exist, but also what else exists, both within the universe we see and beyond. But can this question even be answered? Some have suggested the answer is unknowable. Quote. Who knows truly? Who here will declare whence it arose, whence this creation? The gods are subsequent to the creation of this. Who, then, knows whence it has come into being? Whence this creation has come into being, whether it was made or not, he in the highest heaven is its surveyor. Surely he knows, or perhaps he knows not. The hymn of creation in Rig Veda, circa 1500 BC. For most of history, the question remained beyond the possibility of being answered. But we live in a most exciting point in time, one where this question has fallen to the progress of human knowledge. In the past decades, results from physics, cosmology, mathematics, and computer science, have coordinated at last to solve this timeless question. We can now say, with some confidence, why we exist. The answer we have is more than an idle philosophical speculation, it can be observationally tested and thereby be confirmed or falsified. So far, observations are in agreement with this answer. Let us retrace humanity's steps in finding this answer, and see what this answer reveals about the nature of reality and our place in it.